Good morning, Good morning Crusaders. Crusaders. Welcome to this spooky episode of MDTV. As you know, the presidential election is coming up. It's very important that you vote. Yes, get out there and vote November 28th. Actually, the election is November 8th, but those of you voting for Was Trump... Was that the information in one of the 33,000 emails Hillary Clinton deleted? No, I think it was left behind the wall Donald Trump plans to Wrong! That will keep the bad hombres away. As you can see, it's very important that you go and vote. Who do you want in charge of your country? Now we're off to Alexa and some Science Academy students involved in STEAM Night. Hey guys, it's Alexa and I'm going to talk about STEAM Night. STEAM Night was this Thursday and involved students from Science Academy presenting their summer internship posters. project was about arsenic in soil that's already naturally present there and the problem with that is that if it starts to rain like arsenic can dissolve in the water and that just makes it a lot easier for the uh, arsenic to travel around. So I did it for uh, six weeks. The first two weeks I did something besides this. I was just like testing soils and like finding the uh, layers and stuff. I'm Mr. Chuckles coming to you from MDTV. For this spooky segment we're gonna analyze my creepy little friends. As you all know, we've been popping up all over town, but why, you ask? Well, some of you already know that in 1990, one of the most iconic horror movies of all time came out. Soon, in 2017, It Part 2 is coming out. Allegedly, in a stunt to publicize, actors have been scaring all over the U.S. Every playful joke commits negative results. Hundreds of clowns have turned into thousands of pranks. Although, there's been talks about clowns coming on campus, there's been no formal report to me. The only clown in this area is Bob. Lopez coming to you from MDTV. Our Crusaders continue to excel in all sports, but for this month, being the month of October, the ones who stood out the most is one football player and an extra peppy cheerleader. I'm a senior here at Modern Day. I've been here all four years. I play vars I've played varsity football for a handful of years now, so you know, I really like it here a lot. Uh, he's a guy that I get a chance to spend a lot of time with in the weight room. Uh, just, just a leader. Offensive line and defensive line wise, never leaves the field. Um, and then off the field, his leadership and he's the right kind of guy. Just kind of going out there, keeping my head down, just going through everything, not really having to talk a lot. My name is Camila Torres. I'm a senior here at Modern Day. Um, I'm a cheerleader. I'm the cheer captain. She's always here and always focused, and she's very responsible and communicating with me all the time. And that's why I think she's great. And Love having her on the team. I like for them to come to me whenever they need anything. I feel like it's a safe place for the girls. Friday, we have a home game against Olympian. So come and support our Crusaders on their last regular season game. Also, girls golf advanced to compete in the CIF finals this Tuesday. And if they do well, CIF finals are this Thursday. Let's wish them the best of luck to these athletes. Unfortunately, I gotta let you go. Until next time, Jesus Lopez, out. Thanks, Jesus. I mean, Chuckles. This week is Halloween, so we hope you're all wearing orange and black. Tomorrow, wear your mask uniform. Wednesday is regular uniform. Thursday, you will have a free dress day for $1 as a fundraiser for Mary's Guest House. And Friday, the class that donates the most on Thursday will have free dress. We would also like to give a shout out to Miss Brown and the Drama Department for putting on an amazing production of Our Lady of Kibejo. It was really moving, and if you want to read more about it, check out our article on our website, newspaper.moderndaycatholic.org. And don't forget to follow us on all our social media. That's it for MDTV. Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye. How has uh, Pedro made you a better coach? Um, well, I'm pretty great coach. No. <laughs>